Hey everybody, um, Brian here from BBG. Brian. Welcome to um, all the new people. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you like the content, please hit that like button. To the subscribers, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be doing a really not so nice video actually. The one dreaded thing with every snake keeper, mites. Um, fortunately, I saw it quite early, so um, I'm, as a precautionary measure, doing all of my animals. Um, I only saw it on one or two of them. Uh, that was me not quarantining a new baby that I brought in. So guys, there's a lesson. If you want to save yourself a lot of time and a lot of effort, quarantine new animals. Do not put them in by your collection unless you are 100% sure that they are mite free. So what we're going to be doing today is, Braden over here is going to be explaining to you guys how to effectively treat for mites um, on two of our little boy corns and then myself and him will also be doing uh, my female Dumeril boa and the beautiful boy Ritikia behind us. So yeah, you guys will see um, with the smaller, smaller um, animals, the colubrids, ball pythons, so forth, it's really not much effort. Um, it's actually very, very easy. We'll be using the wonderful front line. Sorry, I hope that's focusing. This is the spray on application, um, safe to spray on animals. And the thing I love, love about this product is it actually has a residual action for up to about three weeks after treatment. So how we're gonna do this is we take obviously some nice surgical gloves and a microfiber cloth. We'll spray some on the point of the cloth and rub it on the head and under the chin of the animal to get into that um, little slit under the chin. The mites love being there. And then we literally spray generously on the cloth and we rub it down the snake's body making sure that we get every part of him. Uh, so that's basically what we're going to be doing today. Um, let's do it.
Let's drink with the teff. Now, come out there. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the bigger and more busy and energetic your animal is, the harder this gets. This boy, as beautiful as he is, I've only had him for a few months, and unfortunately, he was not socialized very, very well. Um, it is getting exceptionally better. Sort of. Um, I don't know if you're going to see much, but what Braden's trying to do at the moment is do the underside of his chin and the top of his head. But um, yeah, he's busy. Okay. So yeah, um, this is a two-man job, especially if you have a three-meter or, or eight-foot retic, and this boy's still very young. He's only about four years old now. But, yeah, as I said, he's getting better. Um, something I forgot to mention in the intro. Uh, the treatments we do is usually... Um, you'll do a treatment, and about two weeks later you'll do another treatment, and two weeks after that, if needed, a third treatment. Um, due to the rigid residual action, you get that weak overlap. So after that, they should be totally mite free and for the next three weeks after that, should anything else breed out, they will also die um, without reaching maturity to lay further eggs. Spray that thing very wet for me, and then I'm going to use his own motion to try and get the rest of his body as he goes back into his enclosure. Okay, spray a bit more on the other side. Thanks. Good boy. Yeah, peeps, let's see if we can let Thomas say hi to everybody. Thomas, go say hi to the camera, love. Not, uh, not around the neck, Wakey. That's not a good idea. Okay, Thomas is not in the mood to say hi to anybody today. He just wants to explore and cause trouble. Okay. And this is basically the easiest way of doing it. Because then you actually use your own motion to run through with the treatment. Thanks, boy. So yeah, guys, there you have it. Um, it's literally as easy as that. Mites are a pain, I know. Um, if you have one or two sets, two snakes, not that much of an issue. If you have a huge collection, also not too much of an issue, time-consuming. Um, but as you've seen now, that was uh, <laughs> quite fun. So uh, yeah, please drop some comments in the section below. Um, any questions? any future suggested videos we'll see what we can do for you guys about that and other than that guys have a great day thanks for watching keep safe and love your passion <laughs>